Welcome to Module 1. So, I have decided to release my 2023 online course, one episode per week, every week for the rest of the year. So now, if you want to follow along, and you want to learn Shopify, and you want to learn what the course is all about, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and every week, I'm going to release another episode. Now, if you get through the episode, if you get through a few lessons, decide you want to skip ahead, you want to jump in, learn everything, and get really moving on your online business, well, I've left a link down below where you can go and subscribe to the course and get all of the course modules completely done, ready to go. Now, one of the benefits of doing that is you get two additional things with that. One, you get access to a community. So you get access to talk to me, any of my team members, about how to do the stuff that we're trying to do. The second thing that you get is updates. So Shopify rolls out new updates every month. Those updates immediately get rolled into the course. So you always have the most up-to-date information that you need in order to do what you're trying to do. All right, so without further ado, here is module one of Learn Shopify 2.0. Okay, buckle up. I've got my coffee, I've got my notebook. We are now gonna start looking into the Shopify dashboard. So let's transfer over to my computer. Welcome to our dojo. This is where we're gonna be doing all of our learning. So as you can see on the left-hand side here, we've got our screen capture of our Shopify dashboard. Now in this section, I am gonna go through what all of these home button buttons mean, and we're gonna talk about them. And then on subsequent sections, we're gonna go into a little bit more detail on each one. So let's start off easily in the top left-hand corner. So let's zoom in here a little bit and have a look. So. Shopify is organized into a relatively traditional um, website design. So back, if we go back to the, uh, the late 90s, early 2000s, we were doing a lot of left-hand side menu design. Now this is different on mobile. We're going over the desktop side of things. There's a mobile uh, specific part of this course that we'll go over later with the app. Um, but for the, for the desktop, it's best to be on your computer sitting in front of it to go through everything. Most of the work that you're going to be doing on your Shopify store day to day is actually going to happen on the mobile app. Um, but we are building the store right now. So we want to use the best tool we have to our disposal and that is our PC. So let's zoom in and see what we've got here. So starting in the left-hand corner, we have our home, we have our orders, we have our products, customers, analytics, marketing, and discounts. We then have our sales channels, and then we have our apps. Now, Shopify organizes its dashboard by intention. So what are you looking for? Are you looking to modify an order? You would go into orders. Are you looking to modify a product? You would go into a product. Are you looking to interact with customer, maybe do some marketing, look at analytics, offer some discounts? That how, that's how it's designed. Now, Shopify separates out the actual front end of your store. So there is two things to think about in Shopify. There is the software that runs your uh, online store or runs your business, and that's what um, Harley would call your operating system, your e-commerce operating system. Uh, and then there are sales channels, and those sales channels might be your online store, it might be your Amazon, it might be Walmart, it may be a bunch of different places where you actually sell your products. Those are marketplaces where you would sell your products. So Shopify is actually separated into two sections. They take your front end website and they separate it out from the software that is inside of Shopify. So everything above sales channel, this is stuff that happens to the content inside your uh, site. Everything that's under sales channel, under online store, this is stuff that you are presenting. So the first part of this section, we are gonna go through the operating system, the fundamentals of the store. So that is this first top section. Then if we have a look here at the center, Shopify is going to make recommendations throughout your journey. Some of these are great recommendations, some of these are just tutorials, some of these are self-serving on their, on their part uh, to get you into new products, but that's what these cards are gonna be. So these cards that show up on the homepage are gonna have checklists on them, they're going to have upsells for you to get on uh, maybe Shopify POS, they're gonna be talking about Shopify marketing, which is another product they offer. Um, it's going to give you notifications if something is amiss, there might be warnings and stuff on there. Um, our goal goal is really to try and clear out these things so that we only have the most important stuff showing up so that we can focus when we get to our, our store. 
Then, because this is a new store, uh, we have a setup guide. So the setup guide, they made it easy for you to uh, access anywhere with inside uh, the Shopify dashboard in the top right hand corner. Once you have completed the setup guide, if you've completed out all of these, these, these steps, this is going to disappear. So it's going to be completely gone. So for those of you who are like, how do I get rid of the setup guide? That is how you get rid of it. Uh, the next is going to be your bell icon. This is going to be notifications. So this is notifications that Shopify is going to warn you about maybe orders, payments or something that has gone wrong. That's going to be in there. On the right hand side, we have our admin and this is your Shopify account. So because many merchants on Shopify have multiple Shopify stores, those stores uh, can all be accessed through one login. This is where that is managed. So you have your profile, you have the ability to log out if you're on a public machine and you don't wanna be still logged in. You have access to your help center. Um, you have community forums, so the Shopify community forum page. You can hire an expert. There's more on that later. I will show you what we do here over at Sunbowl and we'll be able to help you. We are one of those Shopify experts. Um, and then you have keyboard shortcuts. So those are for the power users, the people who wanna be moving really quickly inside the dashboard. To be honest, I don't actually use the keyboard shortcuts as much as I, I would like to. So maybe this is an opportunity for me to uh, to really step up my game during this uh, this uh, this course and use some of the shortcuts. All right, there is two things left. One thing that I skipped over is the search. The search is the most used thing I use inside of Shopify. So if I need to get to anything. Now, I'm a Mac user. So I typically, when I'm looking to do something on Mac, I will go and run the spotlight, um, as you can see here. And then that's how I will go and search for something. I'm just used to run spotlight, type in what I'm looking for and hit enter. It's the fastest way to uh, find anything. The Shopify search is very similar. So if I'm going to be looking for an order, if I'm I'm looking for a customer name or anything like that, I'm going to go into the search first to look for it. I'm not going to drill through all of these pieces. I'm going to say, oh, I want to go to collections. It's going to search um, and then I can go and pick the build a product collection. It's going to take me over to a resource how to do that. Right. So that is the search. Um, the last piece, which is hidden down here at the bottom. So if we scroll down here, we can see that we have a new, uh, we have an item down here for settings. This is your settings for your entire store. So this is the first thing we're actually going to go through. It's super important that you start off setting up your settings first, um, because a lot of the actions that we're going to take later on down the process are going to be dependent on the stuff that we have added into our settings page. So that is the next item. That's the one that we're going to go over. We're going to start settings next. I sincerely hope that was helpful to you. There is still 51 modules still to come. So stay subscribe to this YouTube channel, like it if you found it helpful, and next week we're going to be coming with lesson number two.